Hey everyone, especially Narnians. Welcome back to another video, and this one is another Narnia video! In honor of Narnia Day coming very soon, so I really wanted to make something that all Narnians can do, and I've been wanting to do this for a few years now, and I feel like this is the perfect time to finally do it. It's called My Narnia Journey Tag. It's an original tag that I made myself. And if you don't know what a tag is, here's the explanation. Before I continue with the tag, I just want to say that if you want to check out all my other Narnia videos, I'll have a playlist of all the Narnia videos in the description down below and at the end of this video. And all of the questions, the whole tag, will be in the description as well if you want to do it yourself. And I will be making a template for my Instagram and my Twitter, so that way you will be able to do it if you don't want to do it in video form. I also have another video idea for Narnia Day that I'm going to be doing, and it's another baking video. So I'm really excited to do that one, and I hope it turns out well, and that will be posted on Narnia Day, which is October 16th, so be on the lookout for that. So let's get right into the tag. Question 1. In which way did you first get introduced to the world of Narnia? Through the books, BBC TV show, radio theater drama, or the movie? For me, I got introduced to the movies first, and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was the first movie that I saw. Question 2. How old were you when you first read the series and watched your first Narnia movie? If you can't remember the age, then you can say the year. I was 14 years old when I first read the books, and I was 10 years old when I watched my first Narnia movie. I do remember when I first read the books, and I pretty much fell in love with them. I actually don't remember when I first watched the movie, but... I do remember watching it a lot growing up. Like, a lot, a lot. Especially with my siblings. Question 3. When you read the books for the first time, which order did you read them in? Publication order or chronological order? I read them in chronological order only because I had no idea that there was a publication order at the time. So I just read them in the order of the numbers on the books. Question 4. Which Narnia book and movie is your favorite of the series, and this is an optional question, why is it your favorite? Well, my favorite book is The Magician's Nephew, which is right there, and there. And the reason why it's my favorite, it's because it's an origin story, and I love origin stories. But I also love that it has a lot of biblical themes in it. And the banter between the characters is another great aspect to the story. My favorite movie is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe because you can't go wrong with the first movie, but also it's the one that's most faithful to the book. And it gives you all of the feels of home, peace, excitement, adventure, faith, and love. Question 5. Are you an owner of a Narnia fan account on any social media platforms? And this is another optional question. If so, which platforms and what's your account name? I do have one, actually. I have a Narnia fan account on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all with the same name, Narnia Series. Well, except for Instagram, that's actually Narnia Series 7. The name Narnia Series was already taken on there, so I had to kind of change it a little bit, and 7 is just the perfect number for it, and it's one of my favorite numbers. Question 6. What's your favorite Narnia experience or memory? Well, besides reading any of the books and watching any of the movies for the first time, um, it would probably be when I had a Narnia movie marathon for my 21st birthday a few years ago. I never watched all three movies in a row before that time, so I was waiting and waiting for the perfect time to do it, and that was the perfect time. I had so much fun watching them back to back, and I just felt like I was in my happy place. It also became the best birthday I ever had, and it still is the best birthday I ever had. Question 7. What does Narnia mean to you, and how did Narnia impact your life? Narnia and C.S. Lewis mean a lot to me. When I was younger, I strongly disliked reading so much, mainly because I struggled with it. When I read the books, it made me go from I dislike reading to I love reading. It feels like home. It's one of my happy places. I have read so many other books and book series because I read the Narnia books, which those books and book series have become some of my favorites of all time. 
I made a Narnia fan account on many social media platforms. I make original picture and video edits daily for my accounts. I have met so many amazing friends online. I have had so many awesome experiences and memories in my life with family and friends. I am making Narnia themed videos on my YouTube channel and so many more exciting things to come in the near and distant future, whether it being Narnia related or not. So yeah, I wouldn't be doing any of that in my life if it wasn't for C.S. Lewis writing the Narnia books. And the last question, question 8, is a bonus question and it's optional, but I'm just doing it for the sake of the video in case if anyone else wants to do it as well. And that question is, which adaptation of the Chronicles of Narnia is your favorite one? The BBC TV show, the radio theater drama, or the movies? And mine are the movies. I have listened to some of the radio theater drama ones, but I have only listened to The Magician's Nephew and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe so far. I'm currently still listening to them, so, and I'm really enjoying them. I loved The Magician's Nephew one, and I'm enjoying The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe one so far. I'm halfway through it, and I have seen the BBC TV show, but that was also a few years ago, and I really do want to rewatch them, but for what I remember watching, I enjoy some parts of them, but other parts where they're these the animals and other creatures and these costumes are just cringy and also terrifying to look at sometimes. But other than that, the acting was great and I loved them. Anyway, I might do a rewatch sometime. I just feel like I need to get them on DVD maybe, or if it's still on YouTube, because that's when I watched it. I'll probably just watch it on there then. Yeah, overall, the movies are my favorite, even though they do have some flaws. I still love all of them so much, and I cannot wait for the Netflix adaptation of all seven books. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the Netflix adaptation that's coming. I would love to know, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with it, but also still a little nervous with Douglas Grisham and everyone else who wants to make a faithful adaptation of the books, I'm putting my trust in them. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. I really appreciate if you did enjoy it that you would like this video and subscribe for more Narnia content, which I will be making a lot more of. I have so many ideas in my head that I could do. And also please give me suggestions if you have any Narnia video ideas that you want to see me do. Whether there's more like tag themed kind of videos or challenge videos like some sort of Narnia challenge videos definitely going to be doing more baking ones and if you want to know when I post I post typically every Friday but if you want to know if I don't post on a Friday then click that bell right next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I post a new video again thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate it it makes me happy if I can make you happy and let me know in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram or Twitter or tweet me if you do decide to do this tag I would love to see your answers and in case if you didn't really get the hint of my shirt I kind of wore something Narnia themed and if you didn't get it throughout the whole video it's you know the white with winter for the Lion, the Witch, and Wardrobe and then as it started to turn to spring with the flowers the pink flowers and all so I kind of thought it fit for this video. So anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day. I love you all so much and look out for my next video which will be coming out next Friday. Bye everyone, especially Narnians.